easy keto no bake raspberry cheesecake recipe. It's gluten free and sugar free. For the raspberry cheesecake crust, you will need 50 grams of walnuts. Did you know almond flour has 8.4 grams of carbs and walnuts have only 6.8? so you're saving nearly 2 grams per 100 grams carbs once the walnuts are ground to quite fine powder you can add 25 grams of melted butter and 5 drops of sucralose or sweetener of choice mix it to smooth consistency and place on the bottom of your cake tin i'm using my favorite heart shaped cake tin it equals 5 inch round Press it well and refrigerate for 20 to 30 minutes while you're doing the butter. Next, let's start preparing the butter. Measure 3 grams of gelatin. I use Dr. Yotker animal based gelatin, which is keto friendly. If you're using different gelatin, please read the instructions on the packaging. You will need gelatin for 150 milliliters liquid. Next, mix the gelatin with 50 ml double cream. You can either warm up the double cream first or after you add the gelatin. In a food processor, add 100 grams of cream cheese. That's about half a pack. Beat the cream cheese until it's fluffy. Add 10 drops of sucralose or sweetener of choice and mix it again. Next, Add the double cream with gelatin. Make sure the mixture is not too hot, otherwise the cream may curdle. And the final ingredient for the butter is a quarter of a teaspoon vanilla extract. And final mix until everything is combined. Take the crust out of the fridge, it should be hard enough now. And pour the butter over it. You can refrigerate between one to two hours or until the mixture is formed. Let's make some homemade raspberry jam. You will need 75 grams of fresh raspberries, or in my case, I had some frozen fresh raspberries, and 75 milliliters of water, plus 10 drops of sucralose or sweetener of choice. Let it simmer on low heat for about 20 to 30 minutes until a thick consistency like jam. Let the jam cool down while you're waiting for the rest of the cheesecake. And when the cheesecake is firm, take the jam and place it on top. Ideally, you should refrigerate the cheesecake overnight, but I usually have it straight away enjoy thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and turn the notifications on so you don't miss the next video recipe